shoots and scores. Patrick Taylor Hall. Got it back to Eberle. Score. Rebound score. Jordan Eberle. Drop pass. Nugent Hopkins. Chris shot score. Hello, Oilers fans, and welcome to a brand new episode of The Link on EdmontonOilers.com. Well, even with a short two-week break from you guys, the Oilers still managed to make news across the hockey world with the hiring of their 12th head coach in franchise history. This past Monday, Craig McTavish announced the hiring of Dallas Aikens. He comes to us from the Toronto Marlies, also spent a bit of time as assistant coach with the Toronto Maple Leafs. Well, now he is an Edmonton Oiler and our 12th head coach. Tom Gazzola got a chance to catch up with him this week. June 10th, 2013, Dallas Akins becomes the 12th coach in Edmonton Oilers history. Dallas, we'll just start with uh, this day and what it means to you as a coach and to now have that head coaching title alongside your name in the NHL. Well, it's a great day for not only me but my family to, to be welcome in, welcomed into this great organization. The, uh, the one thing that I, I learned very quickly was, you know, coaching in uh, Toronto You'd always heard about the Oiler organization and that they were thick as thieves, a uh, very tight uh, family group. And after sitting down with Craig and Kevin and, and Scott Housen, I, I learned that very quickly that it was true. And uh, it's just a great day to be uh, welcomed into a, a team that is a, a family first. And, um, and we look forward to getting on with the process here. You talk about the, the family mentality. Uh, you're a, a coach that's been sought after. There was talk of you uh, exploring NHL opportunities last season, and then a lot of people talked about you exploring NHL opportunities uh, this off season. What really drew you uh, to the Oilers uh, outside of that family theme and more so towards uh, what this could do to benefit you uh, moving forward in your career? Well, the, the first thing was the, the sit down with, with Craig and Kevin and, and Scott. It was, uh, uh, it was hockey people talking hockey and it was very relaxed. Uh, obviously, the, the young pieces that are in place here uh, are uh, very important. Uh, this is a team that moving forward over the next few years should have some great potential at, at getting better. Um, and, and that was something I, I wanted to be a, a part of. And, uh, believe me, th this has very little to do with me. Uh, this is about getting this organization uh, to a place where we have a foundation that we're in the mix every year to win. And uh, that's an important thing uh, to me. And, it, and it's something that we're, we're going to make very clear to the players that uh, is, is very important to our organization. Uh, maybe some more philosophies that uh, you're really passionate about as a coach and, and how you develop them too because you had an interesting career. You played for a lot of teams in a lot of different cities. How did you become the coach that you are today and, and what do you strongly believe in? Well, I, I'm, I, I'm parts of a whole bunch of coaches. Uh, I tried to uh, uh, X out the things that I didn't think worked and uh, obviously pay attention and, and keep note of the, the things that did. Uh, 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 I believe in hard work. Uh, I believe uh, most in accountability. Uh, our players are, are going to compete hard. Uh, there will be no negotiation on that. And listen, you, these guys are professional athletes. And, and to be a professional athlete, you have to be fit. And uh, that will be uh, 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 another part of it that's uh, very important to me. So. For this group, it'll be uh, accountability and competition first, and, and the fitness will be coming right behind it. Uh, another hot topic will be, uh, Craig mentioned this the other day, that you'll be in charge of your staff. Uh, when you get to work on that, how do you assess these things moving forward starting day one, which is today? Well, I, I think is first to see uh, you know, if we're all aligned uh, where, where we think the team is at and where it needs to go. Uh, make sure our personalities are, are going to be able to work together. Um, and, then, and then see how uh, they see things moving forward. It's, uh, you know, a lot of it's uh, about a feel thing, and, and uh, um, I look forward to, to getting to know everybody here in the organization. You saw some of uh, the Oilers players firsthand last year when you coached against the Barons in the conference final. Uh, maybe from your outsider's point of view, now an insider's point of view, uh, what do you make of the roster on this team and, and the players that you do have? Well, listen, there's no arguing, arguing that there's some great skill there. Uh, there's some speed, um, and, and that's hard to find. Uh, when, when you're building an NHL team, uh, you're always looking for those things, and, and uh, there's young talent in place with that here now. 
Um, the, the next thing we, we need to do is we, we need to find some guys that can do some heavy lifting, uh, some good character people that can really support and, and, and nurture uh, our, our skill. And our skill will be pushed to, to, to compete hard as well. They, they'll be uh, uh, held accountable. But um, I, I like the way things are moving here. And, uh, and Craig's laid down the, the plan to me, and, and I'm excited about it. Dallas, uh, appreciate your time. Congratulations on the new gig. All right. Thanks so much. That's Dallas Akins, the new head coach of the Edmonton Oilers.